let us take a look at how to insert style information using the internal method. As mentioned elsewhere, there's three basic methods for inserting style or defining style. One is external. External is when you have your style information in a separate file that you call to be brought into your web page. The second method is internal in which you define the style internal to your document typically at the top of the page in the uh, between the header tags and the third method is what's called inline right now we are looking at internal here we see a very simple web page let's take a look at the guts for it here we have our beginning HTML tag our head tag and then we see style type equals text CSS castigating style sheet and then we defined uh, for body we define the color which is the text color as white FF 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 and then for the paragraph tag we define a background color and a margin both uh, left and bottom and then we have a closing style tag below that. Then if we look toward the uh, rest of our document, we just see some text wrapped in its proper paragraph tag in the ending body and ending HTML. This is a very simple page. We could have made it simpler by removing all of this style information, but then we wouldn't be able to do things like make these strange stripes. So this is the internal method. One thing that you may want to consider doing is adding these little marks at the top and the bottom of your style. The only reason for doing that would be to make all of this stuff here invisible on browsers that are so old that they don't know what the style tag is. I don't know how many browsers are out there at this point that don't have some clue about the style tag. They may not know about some of the newer features that are being implemented in style, but just the fundamentals of style, I would think that almost all browsers that are out there at this point use some kind of uh, knowledge of about style. So I think you would be safe leaving those out. I shall delete those. And this is how you put the style information into your internal document. Now you'll notice an internal style sheet should be used when a single document has a unique style. Why? Well, if you use this method of inserting the style information into the page and you put it into 100 pages, if you decide that this color gray is not to your liking and that you want to make it a, uh, I don't know, say a rich deep blue, so we define it, reload, and there it is. It's that simple for one page, but if you had a hundred pages, you would have to edit a hundred pages. To handle that situation, you will want to work with an external style sheet. I'll show you in another video how to how to handle that.